We received a call uh, roughly a little after 10 o'clock of a porch fire. I live with uh, three roommates, Bo, Ben, and Zach. Um, we've known each other since high school. As we pulled up, we could see it coming out of the balcony um, from the second floor up to the third, and of course all the students running out of the apartment complex. Four bedrooms, two bathrooms. And it was close to all of our classes and also a, a reasonable price. People still in their apartments. We had to go in and open the doors, and they had no idea until they got in the hallway and they saw all the smoke. You're always just instilling upon them the things that you've learned as a fireman. When you have runs, you'd always try to talk a little bit at home about because you don't want those sort of same uh, life events to happen to your family, specifically your children. You were telling them that they need to evacuate, that there was a fire, um, and then we initiated fire attack, kicked in the uh, front door. Uh, there was heavy fire, had it roughly knocked down in just a couple minutes. So when Logan moved in and I helped him there and I walked to the building and walked inside, there were immediately bells and whistles that were going off. He actually stressed to me that, you know, if this place ever does catch fire, you need to get out as fast as possible. But, um, you know, it, and our thinking is, well, that's never going to happen. We're hanging out, and it was about 11 o'clock, and we decided, you know what, we'll head back, we'll watch a movie or something. Then I get a phone call, and hey, there's an apartment on campus on fire, and uh, I think it's in your area. We were told it started from a grill. Um, that was left on one of the balconies, and it just kind of went from there and just kind of caught everything else on fire. We looked around after the fact and noticed that it was um, a lot of uh, wood construction, so it had um, a potential for spreading rapidly. It could have been very bad. Just a couple more minutes would have went by, and it would have went through most of that building. But the amount of damage was not anywhere near what I was expecting it to be. I think it could have been uh, tremendously worse. We were one of um, five apartments in the building that had uh, quote unquote extensive damage. Insulation was everywhere. There were like mounds of insulation and the ceiling was like halfway down and um, it didn't look anything like our apartment. My immediate thoughts were what am I going to lose from this? My expensive TV, my gaming systems were all in the, in the living room, along with my computer and my wireless router. My camera and uh, a diamond engagement ring that was in my bedroom. So uh, those two things combined were a, a fair lump sum of money. Logan, you could read it in his eyes. It's like, wow, this stuff can really happen. The first step was finding an immediate place to live. I had two projects and a test the next week. Luckily, my professor was very understanding of it. 30 minutes, we missed classes trying to find apartments, um, trying to figure out what to do with all our stuff, moving in and out. That was probably one of the hardest things to cope with was that, you know, we're on our own. Um, the landlord's not gonna, you know, help pay for another apartment. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have any uh, renter's insurance, so we weren't gonna get any money from our insurance companies. You always just have a different way of thinking of things when you've actually gone through something like this. When you're looking at places to stay or to live, always look at do they have integrated alarm systems so that everybody knows when there's a fire and everybody can get out. If the place doesn't have a fire extinguisher, get one um, of your own and have it somewhere accessible. Um, you know, make sure that you're watching out for yourself and others in the building and nobody's doing anything that would um, you know, increase the risk of a fire. We were very lucky in this apartment building not to lose any lives, not to get anybody that was hurt. Um, but it could have very uh, easily gone the other way. 